<laughs> Monday's Daily Mail and Josh, are you going to throw away your Kanye West albums? Yeah, well, Kanye West actually is someone I genuinely listen to quite a lot and it is uh, it's a bit scary. So um, this, uh, he put out a tweet, uh, I think last night in America, uh, it was this morning in, in the UK. Uh, Kanye he threatens to go to war with the Jewish people. I'm Jewish, if I've ever mentioned that. Uh, and this didn't happen 20 years ago. This is this happened now, and this isn't like used in some like comedy context or anything like that. This is just direct hate and anti-Semitism and racism coming from a person. Um, he says that he uh, he claims he can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jewish. Also, for, uh, this buys into this. Uh, there's this thing called the Black Hebrew Israelites who. Uh, last year, they believe that they're the true, they're the true Jews. And in upstate New York, they actually went into a Jewish supermarket and, and shot to death some uh, Orthodox Jews. Uh, attacks against Orthodox Jews in New York have just been ever increasing. Videos come out every day of Jews being attacked in the street. And Kanye West is, is propagating this. I should point out he has, um, 30 million or above 30 million uh, followers on Twitter. That is over double the number of Jews in the world, 15 million Jews. In the time that this tweet was up, it got about 50,000 likes or so. And that bleeds into real life. How many of those people who click like on that are actually going to go out and attack someone simply for being Jewish? Uh, this kind of started actually on Instagram and now it's mitigated. It went off across to Twitter, um, started on Instagram and um, Puff Daddy, this started with the t-shirts that, that he's been wearing, Kanye West saying white lives matter. And, uh, Puff Daddy, uh, went on and sort of was messaging him saying, look, mate, this is damaging our people. Please stop this. And, the, and then, um, Kanye said, oh, look, I know you've got like the Jews are telling you what to do and this and that. And I'm going to publish these messages, which is what he did. Mm. Then he got kicked off Instagram. So then, uh, now he's seeing it as a war from Zuckerberg, who is Jewish. And, as a Jew, it's like, you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you don't stand up to the racism against you, it's like, what, what, which way that, you know, but if you, if you do and then something happens and suddenly that means that you're controlling the world and cancel culture or whatever, Jews just want to be left alone. There's very few of us. And I mean, I've spent the weekend dealing with a bunch of far left cranks attacking me because I dared challenge a stupid documentary put out by Al Jazeera and, it's just like, it just wears you down. Yeah. It's just you get in it like every angle. And um, I, like I say, I just, I, look, I just want to be getting on with my day. And that's a choice yeah. you have to. And the problem with a figure like this making these comments, it normalizes uh, anti Semitism, makes it mainstream, perhaps in a way that we saw under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn when he was running Labour. Yeah, when you have an influential figure making these comments, then suddenly it means that people who pay attention to that influential figure can take that comment and go, oh, oh, am I supposed to go DEF CON 3 on Jewish people written in capital letters? And suddenly it can sort of put that I mean, tiny little seed of nastiness in into in somebody's context, brain. In the context of the Holocaust, I mean, it's just about the most offensive thing you could say. It's, it, it's, it's absolutely mad. And um, yeah, so as Josh was saying, I mean, he has just done a fashion show uh, where with the White Lives Matter t-shirt. I mean, I don't know, is this him, is this him genuinely losing the plot? Um, because he hasn't had a firm grasp of, of the plot for many, many years, just talked to Taylor Swift. And um, then he sort of brought out this t-shirt. He released the DMs between him and his mate, which, it's generally a sign that you're massively unstable. He got suspended off Insta, and then um, he decided to go, oh, yeah, Insta, you booted me off, and now I'm going on Twitter well, to continue my rampage against the Jewish people, which is just nuts. I, I just want to say that like, whether sorry, he su suffers from mental health issues or not, this is hatred. Yes. And people, I don't want mental health issues to be used as any kind of excuse for this. And where are the people in America standing up to this? It's not trending online. Uh, it, it, and people are, are scared to accuse him of being a racist, which is what he's doing, because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of... But also the reaction to this globally ties in with the theme of David Badil's book about the Jewish I mean, yeah, religion. exactly, of course. Which is, what's that book Jews, called? Jews Don't Count. Jews and, of course, count. this is the thing. If, the, if this has been any... If this celebrity 
had been any other ethnicity and talked about any other ethnicity in that way. Yeah. Could you Im imagine he's, he's in the this, response? He's in a protected ethnicity in which he can say what the hells he likes about Jews. Well, it, it's just, I think, it, whether he was, is black or not, I think it seems to be that people seem to be, feel like it's acceptable to say whatever they like about Jews. Dan? I'm sorry, I just want to clarify what I meant by sort of his... I, I don't mean... No, no, I didn't mean that you were. I just say I've seen people online go, oh, well, he's obviously having a mental health crisis. Well, no, no, so that's, what? Like, I, that hatred is coming from a real place. Yeah, I, and I it's agree with you. He's I don't... Billionaire rapper. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's two billion pounds. It's not like the Jews have cancelled him. Well, you know, he's he's done well enough to get two billion pounds. No, what I I meant was um, sort of um, he's always been a narcissist. He's mm. always believed that he is the centre of the universe. He's well, always those aren't. The, I, I'm yeah. fine with that. And so. that's what I mean. That kind hey, we're all, of... aren't we all okay with the narcissist element? <laughs> Morality <laughs> police and now narcissism. Not, uh, the narcissism I give a pass for. There you go. Uh, well, look, a challenging conversation. That's what this show's all about. But we've got some.